Hello everyone, I'm here at SAS Innovate on tour in Mumbai, where we are talking all things AI, fraud management, risk management, and data management. And I'm thrilled to have with me today, Mr. Sanjeev Kumar Devedi, who's the president of investigations and loss mitigation at Bajaj Alliance General Insurance. Thank you, Sanjeev. Thank you. Um, Sanjeev, I would love to get your thoughts on fraud. Now, fraud is getting increasingly sophisticated. What are some of those factors that are making it so complex today? So, uh, suddenly if you see last few, yes, I agree to what you say. Suddenly the number of frauds have increased. The buzzword fraud everywhere is coming. A lot of seminars are also being organized on fraud. And uh, uh, lately I feel people have started realizing the importance of uh, how to control and get their profitability based on uh, uh, the leakages which are happening, how to control that. And obviously, fraud uh, investigation plays an important role. So, the complex reasons of complex are one of the important area which I would say is today, for an example, in health, when we go for uh, medical cases, there is no treatment protocols right. today in India. So, for a viral fever, you may be either admitted also or you may be you may be only being treated on medicine. Hmm. Uh, for any kind of uh, treatment, doctor may add on several numbers of diagnostic tests or even without diagnostic tests, they would give you some medicine and they would allow you to go. So this is a difficult scenario where identifying fraud becomes an issue. Right. Similarly, uh, if you see uh, today, the fraudsters are right. even becoming more tech savvy. Right. And uh, you have already heard about uh, the Jamtara case, which a movie has come. Right. Uh, even Mukundan Unni Krishnan, if you see the movie which was there in Hotstar recently on motor accident cases. So these are becoming, uh, these are the several reasons because of their being tech savvy. Now it's becoming difficult for an insurance company to uh, catch those fraudsters. Hmm. Even one another area which uh, which I feel now where our government should also act, uh, uh, which is a reason for hindrance, is uh, we in our colleges and school we study engineering, we study management, we study commerce, we study all uh, core subjects, uh, computer science, everything we study. But nowhere you will see that anyone is passing out from how to identify fraud right. or fraud detection. Uh, so, so there has to be some courses related to this because people they don't they are not educated on these lines and mm. then they finally get cheated also secondly when they are not getting educated so when they get into job initial few years of them is zero value addition to the uh, companies right. in terms of fraud detection they only learn by doing mistakes mm. so by doing mistakes they also lose multi-million crores of rupees Right. So hence all these reasons are becoming and much, much more. I may go on adding a lot of things. So I'm sure, yeah, it is becoming increasingly widespread and yes. also so much more harder yes, to catch. Yes. So that brings me to my second question, which is where I would love to understand how Bajaj Alliance is putting analytics and data into action to tackle this particular menace of fraud. Yes, so initially, uh, obviously, we were also a traditional investigation. Uh, we used to go with traditional investigation approach. Mm -hmm. And now as we move ahead, we realize the importance of data. We realize the importance of tech, mm -hmm. which would help us to uh, find the gaps which we were not uh, initially doing. So we have built up our uh, trigger management system. Uh, and again, the trigger management system has to be continuously refined right. by seeing the combination of triggers, combination of triggers with combination of locations mm. uh, and type of business which was done. So there is a, it's a big portal which we have developed, so which helps us to understand which trigger is functional and giving good output in which area and accordingly we develop. So that is one thing. Obviously, in terms of analytics, we keep on running analytics in terms of our loss ratios, frequency ratios which gives us a feeler that there is some, these areas uh, like agent wise or service provider wise, which gives us an area where things are going beyond the threshold, beyond the right. average threshold. Uh, even when it comes to medical cases, when as, as I told you, 
that we are there is no treatment protocol right. but what we do today is uh, in fact we are working with sas uh, team on this uh, where we identify how the billings mm-hmm. uh, of certain illness so for same illness for appendicitis operation in a b town with a secondary hospital right primary or secondary hospital the treatment cost is suppose 60000 rupees mm. where the doctor cost is only 9% suppose if this 9% cost is increasing to 12% that is a gap for us which gives us a trigger mm. so now we don't have a protocol but these analytical tools are helping us to identify we have also come up with uh, insurance risk scoring model where we score the customer basis some internal data and external data which helps us even at the onboarding stage we know that this customer has a criminal background or his civil score was lower or his device location uh, is from a negative area or the mobile number which has been shared uh, or which has been updated is purchased only uh, 10 days back uh, so the scoring for those mobile numbers will be lower uh in terms of higher risk potential cases compared to a mobile number which is 10 year old so this kind of tools we have we also uh, this kind of database we have plus the database of previously identified fraud cases of badge right. database of industry fraud cases right. all these are also merged even the criminal records so police all court records where the criminals are been proven criminal cases those people if they are coming their score will be again negative even the banking fraudsters num, uh, details will be there which again adds to uh, a scoring so with all this scoring which keep on increasing this is not a endless list will be there so right. this keeps on increasing and giving a score to a customer so this score will further help us to control fraud apart from this we have a deterrent strategy which is okay. uh, even important where we uh, when we identify fraud or when we identify nexus mm. in fraud we move ahead filing police complaints and getting those fraudsters or nexus arrested uh, and publicizing it in the media so that a message goes outside internally also uh, to our company we keep on doing lot of awareness sessions so that employees are also sensible and aware about the fraud which may happen so these are the framework which we keep on operating that is a very holistic approach to managing fraud and i'm uh, i'm surprised if there is anything happening beyond that as well so i'm um thrilled uh, to hear all of that and thank you for sharing your anecdotes and your stories at uh, bajaj alliance and and thank you again for your perspectives sanjeev thank you for thank joining you. us thank you